The CIVND world is a little bit more expensive because you're talking about video, you're talking about uh, newer technology. So, um, oh, did I, I put all the prices on the other one, right? Yeah, so you're, I would say the CICD, you could probably build a lab for about uh, tw uh, two, you know, $200 or so thriftiness, right? Uh, this world is a little bit more expensive. This one is the tough one, meaning from a price perspective. Uh, the Cisco EX 60 or EX 90 is a great one to play with. This is a stand-up station. I'm staring at one sitting right next to me. The reason this one is essential is because it runs the TC software, and it's one of the smallest units that you can buy to, to test it. So a lot of people don't know this, but uh, CBT Nuggets didn't develop a lot of the video collaboration stuff themselves, they're big enough that they just acquire companies. And they went out and acquired Tanberg, which is a, a company that's been around forever. Uh, and they are the ones that uh, created this TC software, which Cisco actually has recently rebranded uh, to be their own, but it's a very different interface than everything else in this, the typical Cisco world, right? Um, so this guy, what, what I would suggest for that guy, go on eBay, search for Cisco EX60, EX90. You're going to see them going for $1,000, $2,000, $3,000 out of the box for one of these uh, units on there. Look for one that's banged up. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. You're, it's, you're building a lab, right? You know, it's got a magic marker across the bottom. There's, I'm looking at mine, there's, a, there's a, a chip taken out of the metal in the upper right corner. There, I mean, whatever the case is, because you can get, get those for 200 to $300, and now you've got a great video collaboration unit uh, that you can do. Mine actually didn't have that little thing, which took the price down even more, the little touchscreen uh, widget that allows you to control the device outside of the web interface, right? And uh, so I bought that separately for $60 and ended up saving, I'm, I'm, I'm like, here's how you do garage sale Cisco shopping. Uh, but that's how you do it for the uh, lab environment, right? Over here, these are some of the cheapest video phones that you can get, 8941s. But you gotta do at least one DX650. You just got it. It's, it's going to be more, but this is the one that has the HD screen. I mean, you just don't get an appreciation for just how cool this can be until you get a little four-way conference going between all these devices uh, in your lab environment. You can still bust out the 3550 or the 3750 uh, with uh, inline power or PoE to get those things going. And then this is the, the tough one. CUCM, and notice I'm now putting VCS VMware images. Uh, you can actually run the video collaboration system with CUCM, but you're not gonna have anywhere near the features, nor have anywhere near the hands-on experience you need for the lab without VCS. So what is VCS? VCS is the central core that Tanberg created for their network, right? Cisco created CUCM, Tanberg created VCS. The Functions between them are heavily overlapping, but to get a lot of the real video-centric stuff, you need VCS. Now, what if I were to have my crystal ball, what I would suggest Cisco is going to do is what they've done to every other product they've sucked the life out of, and they do the same thing with VCS and slowly but surely suck all the functionality out of VCS and put it into CUCM, and eventually VCS will become a thing of the past like Novell Netware servers, right? So uh, it'll just fade away and everything becomes CUCM. So that that lab environment i mean uh, let's let's go thrifty right if you're going on thrifty shop i would say you could build this for a thousand dollars i know i know it's a lot but that's the uh that's the world of video collaboration and that stuff will carry you through so again if you if you uh buy these phones you may not need to get the 7960 phones from uh, the CICD lab and you can you know cross cross pollinate between the two because you have to combine them to do the CCNA collaboration